Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well and staying healthy. Today I want to tell you about the oldest known form of art, cave paintings. Cave paintings can be found all over the world, but if you go to Lascaux, France, you can find some of the world's best known cave paintings. These were discovered in 1940 by four boys who are looking for their lost dog. Could you imagine finding something like this with your friends? Would you be intrigued or frightened? After the paintings in Lascaux were discovered, researchers and sightseers visited from all over the world, but the visits caused major changes in the air quality and humidity of the cave. This put the over 20,000 year old cave paintings in danger. So in 2008, the caves were closed to all but one visitor per year. This person is responsible for checking on the paintings and making sure the air quality stays just right for preservation. We aren't totally sure why cave paintings were made. Humans during the prehistoric time period had not learned how to write, so we have no record of what they were thinking. The paintings could have been a way of communicating with other humans. They could have been a way of documenting hunts or part of a ceremony performed before the hunts. To make the paintings, prehistoric people used natural objects like sharp rocks to etch into the wall, paints from berries, clay, soot, or charcoal, and then brushes that they made from straw, moss, or hair. If you're feeling sad that you don't have a chance to go see the real life cave paintings in Alaska, don't worry, whenever the caves were closed in 2008, the researchers who were responsible for taking care of them went ahead and made a man-made recreation in the cave called Lasco 2, which is welcoming visitors all year long. If a trip to France is not possible right now, we also have the option to view these caves digitally from the Lasco website, which I'll go ahead and add to our notes. To make our own cave painting, you need something to draw on and something to draw with. I have a paper bag and some chalk, but really you can use anything on hand. There's also a handout on the website that you can use to help you draw your animals. So I took my paper bag and tore it apart so that I have the plane inside. Gave it a little crinkle to give it kind of a rocky texture. For my chalk and oil pastels, I stuck with kind of natural colors like you can see in caves, but for you, you know what, use what you have on hand. First, I added my prehistoric signature with my handprint and a little bit of smudging helps give it just like that little bit of interesting texture. And I like to use highlights and lowlights, so I'm going back in with this white to add just a little bit of brightness in the middle. I chose to add things in my cave painting that prehistoric people would have observed and add in theirs. Like right now I'm putting a horse on mine. If you wanted to add more things that were not necessarily realistic for them to have seen, like a dinosaur, you know what, you're the artist, you decide. But if you want to stick with realism, you could add things like a woolly mammoth, a bison, reindeer, antelope, elk. Those are all things that are actually found in cave paintings. And if you notice on mine, I added a little bit of shadow along the bottom. If you look at the cave paintings in the Lascaux Caves, they're actually pretty realistically drawn. They might have some elements really exaggerated, like I did those giant antlers there on my antelope. But if you want to add a little bit of shading, that just kind of makes it look kind of cool and interesting. Around the outside, I just want to kind of fill in with a little bit of natural tone color. So I took the side of my chalk and just kind of rubbed it across. Remember, if you don't have chalk at home, that's all kinds of different colors. You could even just use charcoal or just see if there's any uh, kind of natural elements at your home that you can also draw with, just like a prehistoric person would have had to have found. Now if you really want to get a feel of what it would be like to make art in prehistoric times, feel free to go ahead and tape your paper to the bottom of a table so you can get the full-on caveman drawing experience. Bye guys, hope to see you soon.